everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Leanne and this is Leanne's Life. Today I am participating in a wonderful collaboration hosted by Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life. Her info will be down in my description box. But this is a cookbook collaboration that a bunch of ladies here on YouTube have decided to put together. Well, Tamara put it together, but we all decided to participate and the playlist will be listed below. So today I am going to bring be bringing you two recipes from the Skinny Taste Meal Prep Cookbook. I have been loving um, Gina from Skinny Taste for a while now. All her recipes always turn out delicious. I will link her um, cookbook down below. Uh, it will be to the Amazon link, so if you would like to buy it, go ahead. It's affordable and you get tons of recipe and meal ideas. So I hope you stick around and I have two recipes today for you. So uh, let's Here's get cooking. the front of the Skinny Taste Meal Prep Cookbook. It is super nice. It has everything organized. It's hardback, beautiful pictures, beautiful inside. And it gives you some meal prep basic tips on how to make a shopping list, how to go shopping, how to get your recipes all put in order. Everything just like that it tells you what type of containers would be best for meal prepping and same thing with the storage, how to freeze, how long to freeze, how to freeze certain um, items such as uh, proteins and grains. It is super nice. It even gives you a meal plan, a skinny taste meal plan if you would like to follow and she has it sectioned out like breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinners, desserts, everything just like that. And then it's all coded to the different types of diets that are out there. Vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, um, paleo, all of that stuff. Keto. So that is what the cookbook looks like. And this is the first one I am going to make are these turkey taquitos. They look like this. I'm not going to show you the recipe I don't know anything if it would affect copyright or anything, but like I said, I will have the book listed down below in, um, so you can get it on Amazon. Into the small bowl, you're gonna combine all your seasonings. I'm gonna start with garlic powder. I know that you are having a hard time right now. You're gonna cook your ground. It, well, the recipe calls for ground turkey, but I have ground chicken. So you wanna cook your ground chicken until it is cooked through. So while your ground meat is cooking up, you wanna prep your produce. You need some onion, some cilantro, I added some jalapenos just because I like that, some lime wedges, and some iceberg lettuce chopped up. What's best? What's best for you? I know that you are having trouble believing right now. But everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you, you're all alone in this world but you So to your meat, you want to add your spice mixture You want to add in 8 ounces of tomato sauce And a quarter cup of water You want to simmer this on low for about 20 minutes until the mixture thickens a little bit. And as this mixture is simmering, you want to add your onions in there so they can cook. And just because I like things a little spicy, if you are new here, you need to know that I kind of deviate from 
recipes just a little bit just because of certain flavors that I like. I'm going to add a little bit of jalapeno. But that obviously is up to your taste preference. So the next thing you're gonna do is take some white or corn tortillas. And I just warm these up in the oven for a little bit so they're a little bit more pliable and they don't break. So what you're gonna need to do is put about two tablespoons of the meat mixture at the bottom and some cheese over top of that and then you're going to want to roll them up seam side down and place them in a baking sheet on a baking sheet or in a baking pan so I'm just gonna get these rolled up As I was rolling these corn tortillas and putting them in a baking dish, I realized these would be probably even better in an air fryer. They would crisp up all around. Whenever I bake these, the bottoms were a little soggy in the middles, but I bet if you put it in the air fryer and cook them in there at 400 for about 10, 15 minutes, they would be nice and crunchy and crispy all around. Next, you want to spray the um, corn tortillas with some olive oil so they get nice and crispy and you're going to bake them in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes. So here are the final taquitos. I think they look delicious. The cheese melted beautifully. And I just dressed it up with a bed of lettuce, just like she had in the picture, with some cilantro on top, and you have some avocado on the side with some lime. And I added this taco sauce, picante sauce, just for a little color, because I thought it needed some red, a little bit more color on the plate. But aren't they? They smell delicious. They smell just like a Mexican restaurant. So can't wait to dig in. So the next recipe out of this skinny taste meal prep cookbook that I'm going to be making is this breakfast fried rice. And this is what it's going to look like after. I've actually never had breakfast fried rice. Very neat idea. So let's get cooking. So here are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some eggs, some green onions. You're gonna need both the green part and the white part, some bacon, some salt, some cauliflower rice and regular rice. Day old would be the best, but reality, I just made this. So they always say to, when you make fried rice, it should be a day old rice. But we have some uh, rice over here, some olive oil spray. Um, it calls for sriracha, but I don't have sriracha, but I have this chili garlic sauce, which I think is very similar to sriracha some avocado oil and some soy sauce. So into a bowl, you're gonna want to whisk up your eggs and then you're gonna add a pinch of salt to them. the hot pan with some olive oil spray. Next we're going to put down the eggs and we are going to scramble them for about one to two minutes. So 
When the eggs are done cooking, you're going to want to remove them from the pan and set them aside. Next, you're going to want to cook your bacon. And just to make it easier, I uh, sliced up the bacon before I cooked it. And make sure to cook the bacon thoroughly. When your bacon is cooked thoroughly, transfer your bacon onto a paper plate to drain all the grease. So I took a little bit of the bacon fat out, but it says to leave about a teaspoon in the bottom of the pan. And you're gonna cook up your green onion whites for a few minutes. Next, you're gonna to wanna to add your rice cauliflower. And be careful because mine is actually still frozen. And you're gonna cook this until it softens up. Then to the cauliflower rice, you're gonna add your low sodium soy sauce. Give that a good stir. And then you're gonna add your two cups of cooked rice, just kind of eyeballing it, give that a good stir. Next you're going to want to add in your bacon and your egg. Down, it's starting to stick. Next, add in your two teaspoons of sriracha. Again, I'm using the, the garlic paste, the chili garlic paste. And I like spicy stuff, so I think I'm gonna add a third one. So here is the final dish. I added more green onion to the top and sriracha. This makes four servings, and it is good for four days in the refrigerator and up to three months in the freezer. This is perfect to put in a meal prep container, freeze it, take it out, and just cook it up in the morning. Delicious.